There are many aspects which make for a good public speaker. Great many things to consider. But when you get right down to it, there are only two, two sides of the same coin. One is the content. And that content is really revelation. What do I mean by revelation? It reveals to us what and who the speaker is, what their background is, the content of their speech, but most of all, where they are coming from, the way they see things and the way they feel things, especially if they feel it deep within their heart. This is the content. And also, the other side of the coin is delivery. How often do we have good content absolutely ruined by poor delivery? Somebody reading this speech. A monotonous voice. Lots of ums and ahs and fill-ins and you knows and you know what I means. Instead of that most powerful part of any speech. The pause between one aspect of it and the next. So how do we develop the power of the pause? First of all, we need to realise how powerful it is. And we can do this by watching other good speakers, really good speakers. They don't worry about silence. They don't feel they have to fill in every little bit of time with wordage. They allow the listener time to hear the sentence which preceded the silence and absorb it, take it into their own minds and hearts, consider it, evaluate it and make it their own. You can do that. One of the ways to do it is to have good articulation, of course, You'll probably have seen Ann Sanders on television. She's been around for decades now. You hear her voice announcing the incoming trains and Sydney suburban trains. And she has a beautiful modulated way of speaking. The articulation's there. No laziness. That's one aspect. No laziness. Don't slur your words. Make sure the endings are crisp and fine if that is the way they are meant to be. But the practice, one way, is to read out aloud. Just read out aloud. From a book, I just picked up one of my own books at random, opened it at a page, and let's read the way you need to do so, so that you get the pauses. The young radio operator joined the boomerang late in the afternoon, a day before he was due to, de to report on board. It was a weekend and there was nobody around to greet him. He stepped over the brow and into the narrow passageway between her waist-high gunnels and the superstructure towards her stern. She seemed deserted. Obviously, she was not. There must be somebody, somebody on board, Harry thought. Has to be. He clumped noisily along the steel deck and went down through a open doorway. From there, he descended through a narrow hatchway and down a steel ladder to enter the forward mess. As he had anticipated, the mess deck stank even worse than it had on the brocks. Simple enough, get a passage from a book, any book. Read it as if somebody else were listening to your reading. Putting all the necessary pauses, the voice inflections, vary the pace, make it interesting. 
After a while, this will become your habitual way of speaking to an audience. It'll become automatic. You won't have to think about the pauses, the voice intonation. They will all be there in the content, the way you feel about the speech when you're delivering it. Do not ignore those two aspects. Valuable content, valuable content coming from how you feel about something, which is precious to you, and delivering it in the most powerful way you can by working on your voice projection, your pauses, and the way you deliver that speech to your audiences.